Five former college roommates, Phil, Dom, Hutch, Luke, and Rob, get together for drinks in a pub and arrange a vacation to catch up with one another. Rob offers going on a hike in Sweden in Eastern Europe, but the others promptly reject his suggestion. The gang leaves the pub later that night and walks by a store. Luke wants to make a stop and get a bottle of vodka, and Rob goes with him to do so. They notice the upset cashier leaned against the wall behind the counter as they are talking in the store. Rob freezes in terror as two armed thieves appear from the back room, and Luke disappears behind a shelf at the end of the aisle. Rob gets provoked by the robbers who demand his wallet, watch, and ring. Rob freely gives up the first two, but he won't give them his ring because it's his wedding band. Luke flicks the bottle in his hand while remaining hidden from view and gets ready to go in. He reacts too slowly, and Rob is bludgeoned to death right in front of him. Six months after Rob's passing, the four decide to hike the Kungsleden, or King's Trail, in Serek National Park in northern Sweden, as per his request. Hutch studies the map when Dom slips and hurts his knee, making it difficult for him to walk, and determines that a detour through a forest off the trail will cut down on their travel time. When the gang first enters the forest, they see weird occurrences like an elk that has been gutted hanging from tree branches and bizarre markings engraved on the trees. The men become soaked by a violent downpour as night falls. They find an abandoned cabin while searching for shelter and decide to break in and spend the night. They discover necklaces hanging from the walls inside the cottage that feature images like the runes engraved in the tree. Phil stumbles upon a bizarre wooden effigy that resembles a beheaded human torso with antlers for hands while exploring the cabin's second floor. The four experience nightmares all night long. The following morning, Luke discovers that he has a series of odd puncture wounds on his chest. Phil is discovered by the group in the attic, naked, and praying in front of the effigy. In an effort to discover a way out, the party departs the cabin and heads further into the woods. Luke spots a human-like hand wrapped around the trunk of a faraway tree as he climbs a ridge to get a better view of where they are. Dom struggles to convince the group of his findings even as he makes an effort. During the ensuing fight, Dom says he believes Luke is to blame for Rob's demise and labels Luke a coward for staying silent during the robbery. Screams wake Luke up from another nightmare later that night. Following Hutch's screams, the three sprint farther into the woods after finding Hutch's tent to be empty. By daybreak, they discover they are lost and are unable to recall the location of their campground. Without their tents and supplies, they decide to carry on with their hunt. Hutch is found by the three impaled on tree branches, similar to the gutted deer they had discovered before. Following the recovery of Hutch's body for his knife and compass, the group gives him an impromptu burial by wrapping his body in tree branches. Luke climbs a peak that offers a panorama of the entire forest before leaving Phil and Dom on the lower portion of a ridge. He observes smoke rising from far-off campfires and understands they are pretty close to the forest's edge. When he returns to the two to break the news, he discovers them pointing flashlights at the trees while claiming to have heard a disturbance. Phil is abruptly taken off the screen by an unknown entity. Luke runs into Dom while looking for a hiding place and tells him to follow him. They stand up and start to run as the thing follows them. They pass Phil's body impaled on a tree's branches, as they approach a path lit by torches leading to a little settlement. They take refuge in the first building they come across, collapse on the floor of the cabin, and are then beaten senseless by its occupants. They discover themselves bound by their hands in a cellar when they awaken. The puncture wounds on Luke's chest are examined by an old woman who comes into the basement. She reveals a similar pattern on her chest by lowering her dress. A command she issues in a different language as she turns to exit the cellar causes two guys to grab Dom and carry him to the cabin's upper floor. The basement door opens, and a younger woman enters, explaining that sacrifice preparations are underway. Dom is taken back to the basement some time later while still alive and bleeding profusely. He tells Luke that he will be the creature's sacrifice and tells him to find a way out so they can destroy the settlement. Dom's hands are bound behind his back as he is led from the cabin and brought to a wooden post. A roar emanating from the woodland may be heard as day turns to darkness. The captors quickly bow down in adoration. Dom sees his wife coming out of the woods and taking his face in her hands. The men had actually been being pursued by this creature, which resembles the wooden effigy they found in the abandoned cabin. Dom is taken off the post by the beast, who then impales him on the branches of a neighboring tree, where he dies. In an effort to break free, Luke breaks one of his chains by fracturing his thumb, but he is unable to free himself from the second before the young woman enters suddenly. 
She responds to Luke's inquiry about the monster by describing it as a Jotun, a godlike character from Scandinavian mythology, and explaining that people offer its sacrifices in exchange for immortality. She says that Luke will either participate in a rite in which he submits to the monster and joins the cult, or he will be put to death. Luke escapes his shackles and exits the basement once she left. He enters the cabin's top level after hearing cries for help and screams coming from a closed door. He opens the door with a torch in hand and sees a twisted group of humans who are mummified but yet alive. This is obviously the result of the immortality they were given by worshipping the creature. He sets the devotees on fire in accordance with Dom's final request. The Jotun is drawn to this deed and comes out of the woods to discover the cabin on fire. The beast murders the last of its devotees in a fit of wrath. Luke takes advantage of this opening to sneak out of the burning hut while armed with an axe and a rifle. Luke aims and fires at the beast as it prepares to kill a worshipper before sprinting into the woods. He is being pursued by the beast, who is attempting to paralyze him by making him see hallucinations of his chronic nightmare. After a while, the beast manages to grab him and repeatedly knocks him to the ground, giving Luke the opportunity to yield. He strikes the beast on the head with an axe that he had earlier stolen from one of the worshippers. The sun then leads him out of the trees and into a wide open area. Since it appears unable to follow, the monster does not come out from the tree lean. He screams back triumphantly when the monster roars at him. Luke moves away from the creature and walks toward a paved road where a passing automobile serves as a reminder of civilization. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading.